difficult because sometimes scripts which are not well written are very difficult to read. And I found the script very moving. I was, uh, you know, it was written very compassionately. Uh, it uh, introduced me to this whole world, uh, which is such a beautifully created world. Um, and I, I was very moved by the struggle of uh, Mr. Gaur Haridas. And uh, I, I, I felt that I wanted to be part of the film. Even though the role offered to me was one of a 60-year-old, <laughs> I thought, chalo, motherhood ages you. Maybe I should be doing all the roles now. Uh, so I, I, took I took it upon myself as a challenge. And I thought, uh, let me try this also. Thank you. Hi. Uh, yeah. Ariman Raja, uh, this question is for Anand. Uh, you have basically also been a film journalist at one point of time. And Something that has always been bothering me, but then I'm always lucky to find this, uh, producers like Sachin. I mean, this is his second film with me. He did uh, uh, Me Sindhu Tai Sapkal, and then it's virtually a jump for him from Marathi to Hindi to make Gaur Haridastan. Well, I would say that my existence is a miracle because the kind of cinema I want to make, it's not easy to convince producers that this is where I want to go. This is where I want my thinking to go. And uh, in fact, the next films that I'm planning are much more difficult in that sense to convince producers. But I think now there is no turning back for me. I've had my share of uh, what I would say, the pomp and the splendor, the stars and the music, and uh, all the mainstream stuff. I've done that in Dilwil Pyar Vyar, Dil Mange Mo, Raksa, Ragar. I've done it all. Finally, I want to make cinema the way it should be. And uh, the cinema that I taught myself, watching all the great masters of the world, whether it was European, Asian, Indian, or uh, even to a certain extent American. So for me, it's a do or die situation now. For me, it's, very, it's going to be a very uncompromising situation because this is definitely the kind of cinema I want to do and God help me. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, sir. Vijay. How is he different from, you know, other free freedom fighters like? See, when I read the story about a man being denied his past, denied the truth that he lived, I went across and met him. There was this uh, journalist, Sudhir Suryavanshi, who had written this article. And uh, through him, I met Gaur Haridas. And the man was very simple, very unassuming. He was a very frail person. He still is. And uh, the first question he asked me is, why do you want to make a film on me? And like all directors, I said, because I want to. And directors, I believe, get what they want. So finally, we ended up convincing him. And uh, the man had a lot to say. He had a great past. He had a great history. He was the man who used to, he was the boy who used to collect funds for Gandhiji in his Vanar Sena. He eventually turned out to be the man who taught Moraji Desai how to spin the charkha. He had a very, very checkered past. And uh, it was difficult for us to put all the important events in his life together. It turned out to be a nine hour film. And all we have is one hour and 50 minutes with us. So we had to condense that into a very, very striking screenplay, a screenplay that made people sit up, think, a, a screenplay that moved people probably into action after they see the film. It was tough because all that he gave us was a box file of letters that he wrote to the government and the government's replies to him. That's why it's called the Freedom File. The whole screenplay was coined out of a box of letters. Can I ask Vinay, yeah. please, sir? Vinay, hi. Challenging was it for you? Because it's a very serious role, whereas you are known for your light-hearted uh, film. So tell us about your journey. Yeah, it was very challenging shaving my head. <laughs> 